Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Basic here, back in Valheim, back in the Messlands, bringing you my very first building video. Well, let's let's scratch that. Very first build, but we're going to have to showcase this one instead of a building video due to the just enormous size of this thing. <laughs> I wanted to go small, but none of my builds are ever small, so just bear with me. Um, I do have actual speed build video, uh, uh, footage. If y'all want to see that, let me know down in the comments below. I'll throw it together, put some music behind it, and just send it on its merry way. It will be long. You've been forewarned. So if that's something that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this massive, massive castle build that we have done right here on the outskirts of the Mistlands. It is so beautiful. The Mistlands, that is. Um, this build was pretty challenging. Um, not gonna lie. Um, we definitely had to work with the limitations of the building pieces. Um, but as you can see, it sits very nice right here in this little cove and all that as well. So, um, yeah. So. Let's just go ahead and jump on down in here to, I'm going to wave at everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm right here. Looking good. And I'm going to wave again. Um, so, yeah. First, let's just start off with this armor really quick. Can we just take a look at this and just, I got my nice big beard sticking out. I love a good big beard. I want to grow my beard long, but I can't. The baby keeps pulling it. So, anyways. Um, yeah, so we're rocking the feather cape, which is absolutely game changer for those people that like to fall all the way down. So, anyways, um, let's just go ahead and start right here on the, uh, uh on this bridge. Um, it's way on down there to the very, very bottom. But I wanted to throw in the new, uh, torches down there just to give it that nighttime glow. Um, we'll take a look at this at nighttime as well. Because I haven't really looked at it too much at nighttime, but yeah. Um, massive, massive build. You can see just the, the sheer size of the windows and just each individual floor. It's like five, seven blocks high. So you can see how we're supporting everything, just using the terrain. Um, did not manipulate any of the terrain in this build, so yeah. Um, these wall, metal wall pieces, uh, are absolutely phenomenal when it comes to fences, as well as when it comes to window inserts, so yes, I do enjoy these very much. And then, can't forget the lanterns. Love the lanterns, so. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and go on onto this castle. This is not your tra traditional castle. It is a very more of like a wizard style castle with my my vision of a wizard style castle i didn't want to go with too intricate of details and all of that um but i just really wanted to showcase the black marble and all of its glory um not sure how i feel about it yet so um still have to take some time to really take a look at it because everything just blends together um against one another so the black marble benches with the black marble floor and la da 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 so that's why i put some blue curtains up the new blue curtains were actually absolutely awesome as well as the red jute rugs from the caves update so here you can see we have the new blue jute round rug as well as the nice new roll just sit here and Tap your fingers and just think about why you wound up in the Mistlands and how many creative ways you're going to die. <laughs> so, um, now you can look through this window and see a nice big spiral staircase that goes up that big center tower. So let's go ahead and head right on over there. And then we'll come back over there. So spiral staircase, come in. Uh, you kind of exposed to the outside here yet you're still sheltered a little bit so um spiral staircases are absolutely awesome need to figure out a way to put up some railing in here 
But other than that, they're just I love them. And the wooden texture on them. Can we just can we just get up to the top here and just take a look at that wooden texture? It's awesome. Um, stopping here on this floor, we go into like our alchemy mystical room. Who knows? Who knows if everything belongs on the inside or if it belongs on the outside? I just love the way it looks. I love all the colors. I love the flowing purple here on the. Um, I believe this does create the the, um, uh, the little mist orbs that you need uh, to navigate through the um, mistland. So. Here you can see we got a nice big double door and you're going to just look out at all the glory of all the safe havens out there and not over here. <laughs> so I, I'm really looking forward to actually getting down and actually playing um, through the mist lens itself and just seeing how bad I'm going to die. So um, I will be streaming that so be on the lookout for that um, but I'm going to wait till Mistlands finally updates and go from there. So moving on, we're going to go continue on up the spiral staircase here. I swear, I hope y'all cannot hear my dogs. I wish I had a, a nice quiet room. Anyways, um, but uh, yeah, here we have the portal that goes back to the spawn location and we have our wards. Nothing too fancy up here. A nice little pattern up here on the top of the ceiling. And that's strictly to support all the block that is on this build. <laughs> so, anyways, let's head right on down. I'm just going to jump and close that door. And here we go again. Spiral staircases are very... Watch this. Whee! Anyways... Let's move on over to this room here, which is not technically a room, but it's an outside patio, patios. So yeah, um, got a great view here. I really like the way that this um, rock is just kind of like cascading, kind of looks like a rock waterfall. Um, very, very cool, very, very cool. So um, yes, great view, lots of mist as always. So. So let's move on back down and we're going to go to the last part, which is the back side of this castle here. Come on, open the door. Open the door. Why won't you open? There we go. And so now we go to the back. And you can see here we're on the back side. We got the boards, got the new uh, lanterns that are on the pole, which is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So, yeah. Um, and let's move on down here. We're gonna go down these stairs, try not to fall. Got a secret little hideout if you want to play hide and seek in this place. That would be kind of fun. But um, we're gonna walk across this bridge here and just take a look in. Uh, that peak up there looks very uh, interesting. I want to. I'm gonna travel up there. And then turning around back here, we have the last part of this build other than just the walk arounds and everything is this room here so like i said i don't know i don't know my thoughts yet on the black marble um it's kind of glitchy right through there on that wall if you have so much of it it just kind of uh blurs together a little bit unless that's just my eyes messing with me but um i don't know how i feel about it um I'm not sure how well it's going to incorporate and work in my builds that I, I normally like to do, but we're going to try it either way. We've got to just take more practice, more practice. So, um, let me know down in the comments below what you think about the, the uh, new black marble pieces as well. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. We got the no, uh, new curtains up there as well, make them look kind of like banners, maybe a, uh, like a cornice piece or something. And then moving on down, last but not least, if you really were wanting to have like a bedroom in this place, I guess you could put it back here, put a nice big fireplace in. I mean, this is super, super tall ceilings. Um, but yeah, I didn't put a bedroom in. Like I said, I didn't really want to go too heavy on the details because I really didn't know how many instances I have in this build. I think I'm sitting around like 6,000. 
Uh, reason why I say that is all of these two meter by two meter by two meter tall um, block, you can kind of see there's a floor down here on the bottom. And that goes all the way down. And it's like three, four deep right through there and then having to go all the way up. So you can see the, the constraints that I, I had building this massive structure. Um, it is just a lot of pieces. Um, and I wasn't really sure how, you know, to incorporate wood and stone. I think I did pretty well with this this tower here incorporating the you know the tar and the dark wood the regular wood uh and the stone all together so i'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit more but the next build is definitely gonna be on the smaller scale so um, anyways guys um let me know down in the comments what you think about this build uh what you possibly want to see built next um and are we going to build it in the mistlands are we going to build it down low we're we going to build it up high like up there on that peak or something like that or use some of the ruins in the build i don't know there's many many options that we can use so um with that being said guys thank y'all so much uh for all the continued support we are on the road to 2000 subscribers i'm hoping to get there by the end of the year uh, i think we're sitting about 40 away so if you're new to the channel welcome uh go ahead and hit that little subscribe button if you want to see more valheim content more mislands content um and some just craziness when it comes to streaming uh valheim uh, i've been trying to put some shorts out there of all the shenanigans that happens with me and my buddies and uh so yeah so if you don't want to uh miss any of that go ahead and hit that subscribe button also go ahead and leave a comment and a thumbs up on this button to push it out to other people so they can also see this ginormous black marble castle build thing my bobber <laughs> so anyways guys thank you so much and we will see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.